Hey, it's Alexei here. Earlier today, I posted a photo on my Twitter. It was essentially a before and after photo of one of my recent shoots, which is actually my recent YouTube video. If you want to check out like a part one on how I shot this image, and this is going to be the more editing the image type of thing. When I posted this tweet, I got a couple of questions and DMs asking how I edited the photo. People wanted to just see like the process of me like doing it and just like how to do it because can't really capture that on Twitter. It's not like a video app. So in today's video, I'm gonna start from scratch and show you exactly how I edited this photo, the process, the Photoshop tricks. It's honestly super simple to do this. Um, I learned how to like change the backdrop of a photo off of a TikTok video, so you know, if I can get it, you can get it. And, it. and if you have any other questions afterwards, just comment and I'll try to help you the best as I can. But also a quick disclaimer before I start, um, just wanna say like, some of you may know English is not my first language and I sometimes struggle to like find the right words to explain what I'm doing. I um, don't notice that on my TikTok page because everything's edited to like fit that second clip. But yeah, I'm gonna try my best to explain, and if I can't, I'm gonna put the text on the screen somewhere. Let's start talking now and actually show you how to edit. Just went ahead and opened my base photo of Orin, which is gonna be this right here. And basically, gonna be doing is opening up, taking all the shots that we took in the first YouTube video, and I'm gonna be importing those images. Okay, so essentially, what I'm doing here is I imported another photo where I had tossed the coins up um, and I erased everything else using the eraser tool over on the left and I was left with this. Now I'm going to move it around and position it where I want it to go, uh, which is right on the corner right there. Just align it up with his hair. I'm going to be adding all of these together uh, like so until you see, until you're happy with however many photos you want. What I did to remove this stick right here was go into my clone stamp tool and I cloned it out. So right here, clone it out. Oh, careful not to get like, get anything else in there, but yeah, I'm just cloning it out. Be very careful, just take your time. You know, you can zoom in, kind of mess with it. And to fix these little like blotches right here, you just go over it with your, um, patch tool and there you go you're fixing those little like unwanted blemish spots on the studio paper after you do this carefully and take your time with it so you don't mess up like i did should have something like this um, in order to get this effect we just turned the little stick imported them in and erased the parts we didn't want just like you saw with all of these other layers but yeah, this is very simple. It's just a composite image. You're compositing all these individual images into one big, big one, just so it makes sense. You import your image. You align it with where you want it to go. I want it to go right here. And then you erase with your erase tool, any spots that you don't want to be shown. Okay, so after you have your composite uh, compiled, I don't know if that's the right word, the next step is to change the background of your photo, which is by far the easiest part of it. Number one is you go over to your quick selection tool, which is right here. You then go over to your select subject and just click on that button and wait for everything to load in and select your subject. Now you see the marching ants around Orin. You're gonna go up to your select tab and go down to inverse to inverse the selection where it's not on him because we want the background to change, not the color of him. From here, you're gonna go down to the create new fill or adjustment layer button under your layers and click on that. Now click on solid color to create a solid color behind your subject. I just like to play around with these, but I'm gonna go for maybe a, for like a pink color just because why not? And then what you wanna do is Click the layer and change your blending mode to multiply. As you can see, it looks it's starting to look more like the backdrop is changed. Now to fix all of the objects that you don't want it, that you don't want colored in, um, what you want to do is click on your mask, click on your mask next to the color, and go to your brush tool on the left. You're basically going to paint 
black means erase and white means draw back on. So right now the color is set on white. I'm drawing the color in. If I click X, it's going to switch the color down here. And now it's going to turn everything that I brush over back to the original, back to the original color of the photo. So what I want to do is kind of save all of my pennies, make them the color that they were, at least for now. Um, and then I'm going to go back and just try to try to not color the color, the coins in. It's the only thing I would say it. It can take more time than expected, depending on what you're going to be coloring. If it's a simple portrait of a person, you know, that shouldn't take too, too long. But if it's something like this, where like the pennies are kind of um, smaller, you just have to go in and be careful and kind of color all these parts in like so. See, I'm messing up already. Like you just got to be careful. Take your time with it. Um, don't rush it. Make sure your brush is kind of feathered out and how you change that is go to your hardness. If you want those like bold stro bold strokes, you go to, you know, you set the hardness up. But if you want that soft feather look, um, which is perfect for this right here, I'm just gonna, you know, go to the feather brush and try to brush the parts in. After you do all of that, it should look like this. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little lazy and didn't color them in. But yeah, that's how you change a background color from white to anything that you like. I hope this helped in some way. Like I said, I, I'm not the best explaining things when it comes to YouTube videos. Hopefully with showing you the exact Photoshop tools that I used, what I clicked, and kind of you seeing a little bit of the process and the main concept, you were able to grasp how to do it yourself. I'm also going to be making a TikTok tutorial out of this because those seem to be easier for me. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped. If you enjoyed it, uh, tweet this or share it with a friend. I think this is literally the most most simple things that you can kind of learn on Photoshop. I learned it from a TikTok video. You know, it's not something to gatekeep or like make it harder than it seems. It's literally like that simple. <laughs> Before, if you have any more questions, let me know. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you have a great day. Bye.